Hello my dear students, welcome to IMS Gate Academy, myself Sandeep Adari. Now my dear students, in a cricketing nation like India, where cricket is the most favorite sport, now let us understand what are the technical aspects of New York Cricket Stadium. Why we want to discuss about the technical aspects of the New York Cricket Stadium is, it is hosting the 2024 T20 World Cup. So let us understand the technical aspects of it. So, whenever you are preparing a stadium, you have to do first the site selection and preparation. So, for the site selection and preparation, based on what? Based on the accessibility, infrastructure and available land. Because accessibility plays a very important role because lot of players or lot of uh, crowd will be willing to attend the match. Similarly, if you talk about the soil quality, dryness, and proximity plays a major role because my dear students the soil should be also favorable and if you see the drainage aspects suddenly if there is any rain how quickly the water can drain off so drainage plays a very important role you name any sports like cricket football or anything the way the water has to be drained off if there is a rainfall for one or two hours but it has the ability the ground should has the ability to squeeze off the water and drain off quickly so, this is all about the site selection and preparation. Now, let us understand the most important and the peculiar things happening in New York Cricket Stadium. So, my dear students, you might have heard about the topic drop-in pitch. Sir, students, what I is meant by drop-in pitch? Actually, if you see in stadiums like Auckland, where there is a stadium can be used for multi-purpose, and the same stadium they will be used for cricket and at the same time they will be using for baseball or for rugby. So how this can be possible is by applying drop in pitch. So drop in pitch and let me tell you in pitches also in if the traditional pitches toss plays a very vital role because based on the conditions of the weather and the pitch conditions toss will play a vital role. But let me tell you my dear students drop in pitch will be equally balanced and the better team will be getting more advantage. So let us understand what is drop in pitch. A drop in pitch in cricket is preparing the pitch for a match away. Means you will be preparing the pitch away from the stadium and you will be dropping in the middle term or in the middle for a scheduled match. So my dear students let us conclude drop in pitch is the pitch is prepared somewhere and you are trying to drop in. That is the reason we call it as a drop in pitch. Now, how do drop-in pitches are prepared? Now, my dear students, when I talk about the drop-in pitches, they are prepared in a steel frames. One important thing is, while transporting this pitch, there will be a little bit difficult things will happen. So, how to overcome that takes care about the transportation. But these drop-in pitches are made in steel frame. Now, deeper understanding and a calculated combination of what is the soil used in the drop-in pitch, what is the grass and clay and for the desired output because my dear students if more grass it will be more fruitful for the fast bowlers if it is less grass it will be less fruitful for fast bowlers so we should have the appropriate conditions of soil grass and clay to make the pitch balanced so my dear students drop in pitches are carried using the steel frames now why and how are drop in pitches are used this is simple students the drop-in pitches are mainly used at stadiums which are designed to host multiple sports. Usually I told you drop-in pitches like I told you know if in an Auckland cricket stadium where the pitch can, where the stadium can be used for multiple sports then drop-in pitch plays a very important vital role. Now see students then another important concept I would like to come is modular stands. Sir actually modular stands came into picture if the crowd is huge for a particular match because cricket is a very interesting game and lot of people show interest so you should have a bet means high number of viewership you will have high number of viewership so suddenly you want more number of people attending the stadium so by providing the modular stands the definitely the viewerships and the audience can be accommodated more so as part of this when I talk about the uh, modular stands the first and the four important thing I would like to tell you here is flexibility and adaptability modular stands are easy for assembly and you can also after the match you can easily disassemble 
and rearrangement of sections provides flexibility to stadium layout and configuration. Means according to the stadium layout and configuration to set up the modular stands or to deassemble the modular stands, it is the easiest way. So, see some sports might be having a viewership of 10,000 audience, but in a cricket there might be 40,000 audience. So, these 30,000 30, uh, seats can be arranged using this modular stands. And most important thing is cost efficiency because for maintenance and everything, if you maintain for 40,000 and for every other matches, 90% of the matches have been 10,000 crore, then it is a lot of waste and a lot of investment. So, to make the cost efficient, they are going with the modular stands. Similarly, sustainability because reusability will be there and maintenance will be used. And the most important thing, these modular stands are versed. Okay or versatile and also adaptable. Now my dear students, what are the sustainable and future considerations for this stadium? Every stadium you have to consider the environmental impact because if the stadium is near to the sea in countries like New York and uh, there will be a lot of hurricanes and all. If you build the structure also, it might be facing issues. That is the reason modular or temporary things are morally appreciated there. That is the reason drop in pitch or if you talk about modular stands, all these are came into picture. And future expansion also is very important. And you have to see the seating and viewing experience and amenities. So, my dear students, what are the technical aspects and how it is different from the other stadium seats? Now, my dear students, if you talk about drop in pitch, let me tell you one thing very clearly, students. If there is a pitch already there, usually based on the toss, it plays a more vital role. But drop in pitches are used when the pitches are made at far away from the stadium and they will be transported through the steel frames and they will be dropped in the middle. And these drop in pitches will be a, like a, it will be favorable for both the teams. And remember, based on the grass, soil, and also the clay content, these pitches will be prepared. And let me tell you, the better team will always be fruitful. It is not like who won the toss and batting second or batting first. That that concept will not come across in drop-in pitch. That is the important point. And the most important point is they have come up with the modular stands. Modular stands, if you see in a countries like New York, hurricanes, or if you talk about cost effectiveness or adaptability or flexibility, these modular stands are very vital role. So this is all about the technical aspects of uh, uh, New York Cricket Stadium. Now let me tell you what we do at IMS Gate Academy. We at IMS Gate Academy offers 800 plus hours of gate coaching. We are providing a gate premium product which is of 34 years which covers alternative solutions, key pointers and we are also providing the recorded solutions for difficult level questions. We are providing subject wise material, chapter wise test, uh, multiple subject test, advanced level test, all India mock test, around 130 plus are uh, provided. And let me tell you, we at IMS Academy follow mentorship programs and also doubt solving portal where the doubt can be resolved within 24 hours of time. Now, my dear students, if you are eagerly excited to attend our classes, we are offering offline gate classes at Bangalore, Jainagar, Vijayawada and Maleshwaram. We are also offering the online courses and self-recorded sessions. These are the contact numbers 9663376248. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and all the best. Thank you.